Swedish show jumping legend Peder Fredriksson triumphed at the 2017 FEI European Championships in front of his home crowd. After four impeccable clears, the pairing had just five faults in hand going into the final round. Watch the clock. He has won individual gold here in Gothenburg. What a moment, Phil. And I mean, everybody in the stadium is standing and clapping, and so deservedly. With Pedder looking to defend his title next month at the biannual event in Rotterdam, we caught up with the gold medalist to reflect on that magical moment. Well, of course, I have great memories. Uh, riding the European Championship on home ground and then uh, winning it, it was, um, was fantastic. And uh, in the end, when I, I could give the home crown the victory, it was, uh, it was a great feeling. He made the show very special for, for me and everybody else. Well, of course, I was riding h and all in. I know he's a really good horse. And um, when you go to championship with a good horse, you want to make sure you don't make any mistakes yourself. And um, I was last to go in the team, which is always an advantage in a, in a championship because uh, the first day is a speed class. And then you know a little bit what, how quick you have to go to be uh, you know, in the first five. I didn't have as a goal to go out and, and be number one on the first day, but I would, would I'd like to make sure I was quick enough to be you know, in, in the top. After that, you just have to tr try to make sure you don't have any fences down. The Swedish maestro did just that and came into the final day with an advantage over the rest of the field. Yeah, I know I, I, know I had like a fence and time fault uh, in hand. And that was just what I had in the end. And people said, oh, you know, that was great. You know, you know what you could do and so on. But it doesn't work like that because, uh, you know, when you go in, the only thing you want to do is to go a clear round. And I was actually, I was just actually really, really lucky that uh, I, I just had the five, five faults and I won anyway. He's just an amazing horse. He's really careful. He has a, a, a body that allows him to stretch forward on a wide oxer and he can also jump, you know, really upwards in the verticals. Uh, he's fast and uh, brave. He's, you know, he's everything you want in a horse. The pairing's outstanding performance also helped their Swedish compatriots to a podium finish in the team event. Plenty of time to get yes. He's gone yes. clear and had straight the route. Well, what amazing show jumping this is. Sweden clinch the silver medal. Switzerland get bronze. Taking the silver medal was also a top result for newly appointed chef de keep Henrik Ankerkrona. The Europeans in, in, in 17 was, uh, was for me the first championship as a, as a chef de kip and of course to beat that with, this, with the gold medal with, the, with Peter individual and then the team second. Uh, it was just a roller coaster for me. I didn't really know what to expect to be honest uh, when, I, when I got there but I, I put a lot of faith in my riders. They've done it a lot of times uh, before. Uh, but we, we managed to, to stick through and, and Obviously, there's one spot left for the team uh, to, to fill, maybe, maybe for Rotterdam this year, we'll see. Following recent wins at the Longines FEI Jumping Nations Cup in Falsterbo and Hickstead, Sweden are in a strong position heading into Rotterdam, and no doubt their anchorman will be looking to defend his individual title yet again. Olin had a great season so far. He was out a little bit since the last Europeans, and then he came back and um, Actually, it's been going really well. So uh, if he's in good form, I think he's a fantastic horse to take to the European Championship. And then I think we have a, a, the Swedish team is very good. We have a strong Swedish team. And um, last European, we took a silver medal. I think it would be great if we could take a gold team gold. That would be a fantastic goal for us, I think.